Hey everyone, welcome back. So I was talking to my counselor the other day and she said, it looks like you have a serious fear of marriage. Don't you see it? I said, I can't say I do. And she said, exactly, that's the problem. Anyways, whatever she meant by that, it went totally over my head. So I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing with Python. So we're gonna start working with strings and how to get user input and work with those strings. To start, we're gonna talk about splitting data. So the whole point of this video is how to convert a string into a list. So here's an example. Let's say we have a string, we'll just say message, and we'll just put some words in here. So what you can do is you can take a string like this and you can split it out into individual data pieces inside of a list, splitting it by the spaces. So that was just a really verbose way of saying individual words. All right, so here's what it's gonna be like. Words is assigned message, dot split. Don't put anything in the argument list and then what we're going to do is we're going to print words and I'm way too zoomed in here. All right, that's a little better. And running this, you can see we get each of the words separated by commas inside of a list. So the list now has six elements, each one being a string and it's a series of words. So the data that it's splitting by is the space. However, you can customize that by passing an argument to split. So on Mac, if you want to reopen that window saying what to throw in here, it's command shift space. And it says sep, which is short for separator. What we could do is we could separate by comma. In this situation, it's not going to split anything but if you're working with, say, a comma separated list of values, which is a common thing you might need to do, it might look like so, where I'm just gonna replace each one of these spaces with a comma, and the important thing here is it only cares about a comma, doesn't matter about a space after the comma. If there is a space after the comma, it's just going to consider that to be part of the next string, and I'll show you an example of that here. So running this now, we have pay, and then we have attention with a space at the left-hand side of it. That's coming from right here. And then the rest of the words here. Now, if you had a bunch of words in here and you didn't wanna have to, you know, have a space at the beginning of every single one, all you would have to do is update the split separator to have a space there and it'll get rid of the space. So now running it, you just have the individual words. Now, a long time ago, I taught you guys how to make strings on multiple lines, and that was in my previous series. So when you're doing that, you're actually gonna have three quotation marks at the beginning and three at the end. And in this situation, you can break anything down to the next line and it's totally fine. So my challenge to you is to figure out how to break this up by line. So what would you put in here? And I'm gonna give you guys the solution in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Also, be sure to utterly smash that sub button. I don't care about the like button. No, I like the like button too, but mainly the subscribe button, right? Okay.